Hello and welcome to another episode of Diary of a Cargo Mover. So today we're going to be running Beryl and Drugs. So as I've already shown in some of my earlier videos, Beryl is one of the most profitable commodities to run. But with the most popular routes getting uh, very, very busy, they're also getting full of pirates. So today I'm going to be running from my consect down to Orison. Hopefully making about 300,000 on that run. But then on our return trip, we're going to be doing a bit of scrap and drugs. And if we're lucky and we manage to pick up as many drugs as I'm hoping we will, um, we should be able to make just as much on the return trip. So stock levels are starting to get back to normal here on uh, SMO22. You know, it, it can hold a maximum of 30,000 SCU, so 21, that's a, that's a good amount. So we'll fill the caterpillar. You know, back in the cat today. Not been running in it for a while. Certainly haven't been doing it on the diary of a cargo mover. Been uh, testing out lots of other ships. But back in my one of my favourite cargo moving ships. So we're going to run this down to Orison. Um, there is a few different places that you can pick drugs up in in Orison, but. I want to show you one which is not a secret, but it's a place that you can't jump to. Uh, it's Jump Town. So it doesn't have a jump location. So a little bit safer. You know, yeah. I pretty much doubt you can have pirates sat there all day waiting just for that one opportunity of someone coming by. They'll be they'll be camping out in the most popular places. So we're gonna go there and pick up the drugs and as the jump town event is not long over, um, I'm going to pick up some some items that I left there. I left a lot of armor and weapons from the event, so that is the reason. Well, one of the reasons we're heading there, as well as to to show it off a little bit. Yeah, as always, we're gonna cut out the flying. It is a very long trip to Warrison, so I'll uh, I'll save you the flying time, and I will see you there. So I decided to cut out a little bit more than just the flying time. You know, Orison, I'm not a big fan of this place. It takes so long to get around everywhere. I know it's I know it's very pretty. You know. Those cherry blossoms, very nice. But for me, no. Approaching next station. If this is your stop, please prepare to disembark. Area 18, Magatech, all day long. They're my favourites. Nice to come down here once in a while, but if I'm making money, I'll, uh, I'll tend to stick to the, the others. The shuttle is preparing to depart. Which is a shame, really, because Port Alisar, right above it, is is the best, in my opinion, the best station. And now we're going to be losing that as well. So I doubt we'll be in this uh, this neck of the woods at all. Right. So let's get this sold. Should be making should be making over three hundred thousand in the cat. Let's see what we've got. Oh, I think it's I think we've got 300 bang on there that's not bad not bad room for a single trip in the caterpillar so yeah we're gonna we're gonna get the scrap you know it's you don't want to be running empty sometimes you have to but always best not to so we're gonna uh, fill it with scrap here uh, take it over to Brio's breakers yard now once we picked up the drugs, we could head there again to sell, if Brio's looks safe. It's, it's not a place I like to go to that often. It is very, very popular for the uh, the pirates. I think they all seem to watch the same YouTube channels and congregate there. But yeah, if you uh, if you wanted to do a quick drop, you know, you could sell your drugs there. Yeah, using the scrap run as the scout, make sure it's safe and then 
pop back here and your drugs after. But we're going to pick our drugs up in Jump Town. We're going to head over to Uterp because obviously making it a bit of a, a circle run. And we can start back over again, back at SMO 22, get the barrel, keep on going, making it one big circle. The next shuttle is approaching. So again, I'm going to cut out the flying, and I will see you over at uh, Brio Breaker Shard. That doesn't look too safe the way it's shaking. For passengers, the shuttle is preparing to depart. So here we are at Brio's, the Pirates Playground. You know, not too bothered this time because we've only got scrap on. Let's make sure I'm, uh, let's make sure I can get in and out. Give you a little scout as well. Yeah, like I was saying before, if you, you know, if you didn't want to make it the loop, if you just wanted to get the drugs, sell and finish your run, you could come back here if if you can see it's nice and safe now. Um, Right, guns out. Can we get back? Yeah, I think we can. I think we can jump back up. So let's close this ship up behind us. Let's not make it easy in case any pirates are here. I think I'll. Uh, a lot of the time nowadays it's not about what they can what they can take off you it's the story they can go and tell their friends like oh we've we've pirated a big caterpillar full of cargo they just miss out the part that it's full of worthless scrap so yeah always close that door behind you not bad what was that just under 30k to add to our 300 before you do buy a lot of stuff here. Right, so we're up to, uh, let's call it 3.30. We're up to now. I'm going to jump back in the ship. Actually, that is a nice view. Screenshot time. You know me and my screenshots. Let's get the camera right. The mighty caterpillar. Love it. Do like this strong bringer paint on it as well. So yeah, I do take a lot of screenshots. I've uh, I've started an Instagram account especially for them, so if you're interested, the link is on the page. I'll leave it in the description as well. Yeah, I think nowadays I spend uh, just as much time running cargo as I do uh, taking screenshots. Yep, there we go. Nice one. So this one is a long, long trip now. Um, we can't jump directly to Jump Town like I was saying before. We've got to shoot over to Yellow to one of the orbital markers, uh, and then we're looking for a mountain range to fly towards. So I'm going to cut out all the flying, and uh, we will see you at jump time.
so here we are on yellow it does look very nice I spent so long here the other weekend well and, and the other the other rent locations but yeah this one was I think my favorite so if you've not seen the last video I joined a, I joined an old call of wayfarers um, and they were running a jump town event so we we spent the whole weekend doing that together absolutely brilliant made so much money now there was me thinking I was making myself rich running cargo the amount we made here are absolutely ridiculous So yeah, since joining, not just uh, not just jump town, we've done a number of things. You know, we've been having lots of salvage nights, all jumping in the reclaimer. You know, with a dedicated dedicated ship to strip of weapons and any cargo. That's been quite uh, quite profitable. We've done a Nova tank night where we all gathered together in Nova tanks, a little bit of uh, mini games. That was actually quite good fun. We did one night in an 890. Um, so, got ourselves an 890. Engines. Everybody set their spawn location in the med bay, and uh, we just played manhunt. Handguns only, no armor. Spent a couple of hours going at it around the 890. That was good fun. And then just the other night, we did um, a rescue and bunkers night. So any any uh, any med beacons went up, we went and got them. And the rest of the time just running bunkers as a group. Managed to get a few more members to join the organisation. People that we were uh, rescuing. They liked the idea of what we were doing and ended up joining us. Right, it's no events on at the moment. I'm thinking we're pretty safe, but guns out, just in case anyway. Not sure if he's fresh or just left over. With no persistence. More dead bodies. I'm guessing we're going to see a few of those if uh, we got persistence on. Let's give it a quick scout. Is there a loot box in the corner? Another dead body. I've not seen any loot boxes, that's uh oh hey, what's been going on here? <laughs> yeah, there you go, jump town for you. I was hoping to see a big, uh, big stack of maize inside that door. Then never mind. Right. Ah. Well, that is disappointing. I was hoping for uh, a much larger amount than that. Well, you know, it's all profit. We'll take it anyway. But that is going to cut into our end profit. I was hoping to make over three hundred thousand on the way back. Can easily be done from this one location. Um, but looking at those amounts that's going to cut it cut it nearly in half um, so I think we're just going to be under the half a million mark and as I was saying I did leave a lot of stuff here right you know I was here for a while so Ended up looting a lot of boxes. Yeah, check one last time, just make sure we haven't just hit the server tick. No, not lucky. Let's go.
Right. Okay, so nobody playing around my ship before I go. I am taking this under seat. Thank you very much, Juno. Right, and I do think it is worth having a little you know, even though we are risking it, we've got drugs on board. Let's have a little look around, see if anybody else is kind enough to have died and left us us left us there uh, some stuff. Oh, dead bodies. Yeah, I think everyone's been looted. Yeah, I think I think everyone's been looted. So let's get back to this ship and um, head back over to Uterp. Nah, rubbish helmet. Yeah, head back over to Uterp. Sell these drugs, and then that'll be the end of the video there. But for me, I will probably do this circle a few more times today. It's quite a nice run, actually. Like I was saying before, you know that um anyone hiding? No. Um that thing about deciding on the risk yourself. I like to add some of these locations in myself just to just to make the routes a little bit more exciting. Right, let's get this all on board. everything yeah I like to mix up the routes a bit you know sometimes I have a quiet night running the distilled spirits the the med supplies the food sometimes just having a drugs night sometimes just running the barrel on its own yeah I like to like to mix up the routes well, each to their own as long as you're making money, then you're doing it right. Don't let anyone tell you different. So, we're going to cut out the flying as usual. It's a long trip. Okay, looks like we made a little bit of a mistake. I forgot to refuel. Oh, I did tell myself before I was going to re uh, refuel at Orison. Very silly. So now we've got drugs on, and I'm going to risk it by going to Port Alisar. If I get scanned now, then I'm going to get a crime stat. And uh, but like, what what was I just saying? You know, you got to decide on that risk yourself. I will take any chance I've got at the moment to uh, visit Port Olisar. You know, it's going to go soon. I love the place so much. So, let's take the risk. Let's go and fuel at Olisar. Um, maybe a good opportunity to drop all these weapons and armour off there instead of taking it U-Turp. Just in case. Okay, don't be scanned, don't be scanned. Please proceed to assign landing bay. Landing gear down. Right. 
Yeah, into uh, I think we're gonna land in third person. I have been trying to practice staying in first person for landing. You know, I'm using two sticks now. I did have the I did have the throttle. Really love using the throttle in these bigger ships, but um, once I got the second stick, yeah, I haven't had a look back. There we go. Have a pleasant stay. Right, let's get it fueling while I drop off all the, the items. Engines offline. So, yeah, I've only got myself uh, the Thrustmaster, I think T16. 16,000, 100 are they? Yeah, some quality ones are definitely on my list now after being flying with these for a while. Engines online. Right then, refueled. No scan. Let's uh, say goodbye to poor Alisar. Hopefully, get another video in before it uh, properly disappears. Give it a good send off. I will cut out the flying as usual and I will see you over on UTEP. You For real this time. Launch. And here we are, Devlin Scrap and Salvage. So far for me this has been the safest out of all the places to sell. Um, but still definitely worth a good look around. Engines you know, like I keep saying, if you think you're safe, that's the moment that they jump out and shoot you in the back of the head. So keep scouting, keep those doors closed, especially when you've got a valuable load on like I have now. Hopefully if someone is here they haven't spotted me. I'll leave the light on on my ship, not necessarily to show me the way, but try and make it a little bit bright from that direction so a little bit harder for them to see my initial direction. Okay, good profit. So, like I said, not as much as we were hoping before. I think with the scrap, with the scrap included, we've made just over 150 on the return trip. So, yeah, under the half a million, over 450,000. So, all in all, good run. You know, you can't can't complain of that money. Risk over. So I'm not sure if you noticed, um, I did used to have the pirate caterpillar. 
ended up melting that down. Bought a new one in game, which I much prefer. Uh, in, the, in the pirate caterpillar, all these yellow parts are red. And I don't know, little things like that. I, I just didn't like it. But anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching. A uh, big thank you to all the subscribers, much appreciated. And if you're looking for an org, Wayfarers, they are looking for more uh, more members. You take care of yourselves. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye.